hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of the Crazy Town Podcast. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite, the explosive one, TNT, D-I-N-O-M-I-G-H-T. That's it, that's you. That's me, Jonas. Me. What's, what's going on, man? Man, it has been one hell of a week. Has it? Not really. I just wanted to make it all exciting. Like, yeah, we had a lot of stuff to talk about. There's been some news out there. Has there? Gotta look for it. All right, all Gotta right. Gotta dig. I look, I dig. I have, I have a backhoe. <laughs> but we want to thank you so much for joining us live on Twitch.tv forward slash Crazy Town Media Live. And of course, for watching it on our YouTube channel. It's on the Crazy Town Media. Or follow our social media down below. It's all under Crazy Town Media. Go find us because we can't find all of you. You like that? That was new. <laughs> Go find us, Ken. We can't find you. I like that. We can't that. find all of you. We found some yeah, of them. We found a couple. Yeah, dude. I found a couple. You know There's what I mean? There's a couple. Somewhere under the couch. Yeah, dude. Of course. You can also go to crazytown.com. That's our cornucopia of continuous information. You got some good stuff? <laughs> <laughs> Who are you looking at? Don't look at me. I'm looking at you. I'm over here. All right, dude. Uh, no, what do you got? I got things, man. Do you? You got anything off the top of the dome that isn't news related you want to say hey to anybody about? Not hey to anybody, but you know. Hi, everybody. See? That's it. All right. That's hi, all everyone. I got. Are right, you ready? <laughs> so excited. Ready to rock, paper, scissors for the first so story. Ah, dude. All you gotta the bring the pump. Dude, I've Wait. been working all day. Right. One, two, three. Right. Oh! I always, I always lose, dude. Man. I I'm never pretty win. good at rock paper scissors. It's like, yeah, it's flipping a coin, dude. Yeah, Go it, ahead. One. It is. It is. It's cool. What do you got? All right, man. I'm gonna start out you're with first. a what? I said you're first. All right, cool. I'm gonna start out with something super inspirational. Get him, Tiger. I figure we usually come with tragedy, terror, and no triumph. Today, this is all triumph, along with a little bit of terror. All right. And terrorists. No, I'm bated breath over here. Right. <laughs> As always. All right. There was a man. His name was Mike Mike Day. Okay. Michael Day. He's a Navy SEAL. Is he any relation to Michael Knight? <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. Bring him. Keep him coming, TNT. <laughs> oh, Mike, you get it? That's a... That's a... Jonas joke. It's a Knight Rider joke. I know, dude. It was too easy. Though. I know, dude. Anyway, cool. go ahead. But anyways, he's a Navy SEAL. April 6, 2007, he was over in, I'm, I think this was Iraq, chilling in some helicopters with some of his Navy SEAL buddies. Yeah, that's what they usually do. Terrorists blow up the helicopter. What the hell, Jonas? <laughs> is this a war story? Yeah, dude. All right. Well, so, wasn't ready for that. They shoot down two American helicopters. Everyone on the helicopters dies except for Michael Day. Oh, he survived. He survived. That's wonderful. I'm right. glad he survived. Right, right. So, you know, I'm sure he was, like, upset. All of his buddies are just uh, deceased from these from the terrorists. I am a little sad about that. Al-Qaeda terrorists. <clears throat> so he's like, I guess I'll take cover in this building. Goes inside the building to find four Al-Qaeda leaders in the room he went into who began to open fire on him. Jesus, man. He can't win for losing. I know, right? Uh, he did have on body armor. Uh, it was body armor that was that they guarantee it for one shot. Like if you get shot once with this armor on, it will save your life. After that, no guarantees because it can get broken down. Okay, all right. This he is... proceeded to be shot twenty-seven times Jesus. by these four men and got hit with grenade shrapnel. This is terrifying, Jonas. He he. <laughs> how is this the how is this uh, the light story? Man. He, he got hit in the body 16 times Yo. and 11 shots to his body armor. Yo. Both legs, <laughs> both arms, Yo. abdomen. Nope. The only place he was not <laughs> shot was his head. Yep. I'm, not, I'm not cut out for war. I'm so not. he did what any fine American soldier would do. He proceeded to get up and kill all four terrorists Nuts. and walked his ass to the helicopter and they flew his ass home to which he survived. Yeah, he's got some issues, I'm sure. Yeah, it took him uh, it said, so it took him two years to fully recover and he still has pain and he is still alive today. That's amazing though, man. 27 gunshots, 16 not in body armor, so Jeez. in your arms and legs. 
you get up and kill four mo mofos. Jesus. And then you're like, you know what? I'm just going to walk to the helicopter and get the hell out of here. Jesus, dude. man. Yo, they salute to our boys in blue. I mean, green. Green, <laughs> white, whatever color the <laughs> yeah. uniforms are, dress man. Dress whites, dress blues. Dude, oh, when I found this story, mm -hmm. I was like, I would have died. Oh, yeah, I would have died. I mean, that's really the first thing that came to my mind. Dude, it's cr like the amount of PTSD that that man must still have coursing through his veins to this very day. That's that's crazy. Yeah, man. To, to sit up there, have your plane. How many of his friends? I didn't killed? say how many, but yeah, two. You're the only one to survive out of two helicopter crashes. So just surviving the helicopter crash alone, damn, he is was, he insane. Was, he was going on pure adrenaline. Right. Then he's like, "I'm gonna get cover," and then he walks into a room where four men are opening fire on him, Jesus. to which he then somehow murders them all. Jeez. And escapes. Could you even imagine being in a real firefight like that? Dude, if anyone shot a gun and I didn't even <laughs> see it happen, I would probably have to go change my pants. Yeah, I'd shit myself. Dude, I'm not a gun boy. I'm not a gun fight boy. I'm like, I mean, I'll shoot a gun, but not with anyone. Yeah, I would shoot anything. at people and have them shoot at me. We're not, this isn't a contest. Yeah, Couchman Live is here. Couchman <laughs> Pete. Couch, Couchman in the comments, folks. Yeah, dude. See the reason. <laughs> but uh you know i just wanted to bring that story to light because well, I, I figured it. that that man write him a letter man Tom write him a letter what's his name Jonas? michael day well what's I'm his sure email he, uh michael day at michaelday.com oh he has his own website yeah too. dude i bet you google michael day navy seal crazy story yeah get out there Go find and maybe you can reach out to him. Find tell him Michael Day and fund, make his day. Fund his ass, dude. Fund it, dude. Fund his ass. But anyways, wants. that's all I got for number one. All right, good story, Jonas. Thanks, friend. Good. All right. Well, uh, <laughs> oh <laughs> no, it's not it's oh, over dude, now. Was, the moment is gone. All right, man. You I lost the moment. He went to high five me for you not watching on I video, did, and I I accidentally shunned him. He did. He shunned me. Uh, let's see. What do you want to start out with, Jones? You want to start I, with depressing? Go with evil. anything you want, dude. Well, the rest it, of mine are not no, the they're, greatest. They're not. I mean, no, they're not like. No, they're all good. Uh, dude. All right, Jones, calm down. It's cool, man. I touched you again. By yeah, way. you did. You're always rubbing on Gently. me. Gently. Uh, no YouTube. Means YouTube prank channels, Jonas. When I tried to first start out oh, with Crazy geez. Town, I wanted it to be a prank channel. Yeah, where you just prank each other? Like you'd play a live alligator in my bed? And, and this guy didn't want to do it. <laughs> Dude, I don't know. <laughs> Call me kooky. I or still think we should maybe have like a prank month or some shit in a Crazy well, Town. There was one. What did I tell you that... Like, you could come at me, and I'd have a frying pan. I'd try to hit you in the face with it. Like, what was that prank? i come at you with a knife, and you have yeah, a frying yeah, yeah. pan? you come out with me with a weapon, and i get a, <laughs> and I, and I try to hit you in the head with a frying pan or something. Basically, we're just having a domestic dispute at that point, John. <laughs> <laughs> Very like, true. no, it's all planned. We're going to yeah, put it on trust YouTube. Trust me, trust me. Anyway, yeah. so, YouTube prank channels, they're actually down on YouTube as a whole, as of late. Okay. Uh, these people sometimes mask, mask themselves as social experiment channels, but basically it's the same thing. They go into either the hood or some neighborhood with, with people who are more apt to attack, and they provoke. And it's bullshit. And, and if, they see what happens. Yeah, and then it's like, oh, prank in the hood going wrong. Like, yeah, motherfucker. These motherfuckers don't make a lot of money. They're already on edge, and you're going to go in there and provoke them? Step on my fucking shoes if you want to. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Yeah. right. And I've seen this shit. Well, there was one channel oh, God. <laughs> named Reset, um, and they broke a law. They broke laws. <laughs> they, didn't show this. Well, they do, man. They went a little too far with one of their pranks. Oh, jeez. Um, it was a Kalua, Kalua Ren, Kalua Ren from Barcelona, Spain. Okay, that's um, his name. Yeah, that's oh, his okay. Name. He took a he took Oreo cookies. Okay, removed the cream from the Oreo cookies, an entire package of Oreo cookies. Yeah, and replaced it with toothpaste. I've heard of this before. Yeah. It's it's a prank that if I were to play it on you, I'd be like, like, "You oh, son of a bee. Oh man, this is gross." You know, yeah, right. it would have been funny. Well, he decided to do it to a homeless person. Okay, a, a vagrant on the street, and he even was quoted in the video that has been removed now, and I'll get to that a little okay. bit later. He said, "Uh, maybe I've gone a little far, but." <laughs> Maybe I've gone a bit far, okay. but look at the possibility, or look at the positives. This will help him clean his teeth. I don't think he's cleaned his teeth since he became poor. 
Oh. So, so far, Jonas, this guy doesn't sound like a very nice person, right? No, dude. Sounds I wouldn't, like a I wouldn't bit, be his friend. Sounds like a bit of a douchebag. Uh, I'd say the whole thing, <laughs> not just a bit of one. Well, he was brought before court for committing a crime against moral integrity. Really? Absolutely. And I think this is beautiful. I, now, this happened in Barcelona, so I'm not sure if we have similar laws here. But honestly, yeah. it probably should be something. They already have, like, good Samaritan laws. Did law. everyone get to uh, spit, chewed up Oreos at his face in public? <laughs> like, he stood there and I was like, ta! <laughs> With the punishment he got, he'd probably prefer oh, that. Geez. So, uh, <laughs> either way, it's like uh, we have good Samaritan laws here. And it just kind of... it. it per- perpetuate society right we, right we can't be going around being assholes to each other and i feel like you should be punished like yeah, this, man. if your mom catches you cursing at your grandmother she's gonna whoop your ass yeah which you deserve so we need to whoop some virtual ass out here in, in society i'll virtually tell somebody to do something they shouldn't do so he received oh. 15 months in prison oh my god and a twenty thousand euro fine Ooh, to be given just like to twenty five k twenty seven fifty of twenty cars. it's twenty three thousand okay cool but still that's twenty three thousand dollars and that money is to go to the the homeless man really yeah he has also been uh his channel was taken down and it was a relatively pop- popular channel he had to definitely build up a following because those prank channels were big and they usually maintain their viewer base all right so his channel was taken down all the video videos were removed and he's been banned off of youtube for five years oh my god yeah dude i would eat a whole pack of oreos with toothpaste for twenty three thousand dollars. <laughs> Just throwing that out there. I'd do it for five thousand do it for five hundred probably. Yeah. It's crazy, man. I just don't know why anybody would think that messing with homeless people or poor people Dude, or disadvantaged yeah. just I don't know, man. That reminds me like back in the day somebody brought the bum fights tape over my house and mm. I was like, Turn this shit off, dude. I don't wanna watch this. Yeah. I don't wanna watch two homeless men fight for twenty dollars. Yeah. No, I'm, not, dude. I'm not into that. No, nah, me neither, man. I'm not into like the degradation of like the human form i guess it would be yeah. good guy jonas over yeah here. man i you know i can watch like trained fighters fight in a cage why do i need to watch homeless men fight for yeah. a sandwich yeah so yeah, i mean I don't even know. not even even if they're not trained it still be pretty good just what? not homeless oh yeah this is kind of what i was talking about last time we were talking about the fights that they had between like two people with the public dispute and you're like well let's just get the ex-convicts out there. Oh, that was a this is basically the same type of that shit. That was them fighting for freedom, though. Dude. Yeah, but that's still just this fucked up, man. Come on. I mean, okay, two homeless guys fighting over a sandwich—that's fucked up. But a guy who's on death row probably deserves to be there, fighting for his freedom. Not only are you loosing that on the on the people, <laughs> but you got these guys who have nothing to lose. This, yeah, I well, mean, it's a little fucked it'd up. It'd be interesting. Though. It's a little. This ain't the running man, fam. Dude. <laughs> that's what uh, you're thinking of, too, the running man. Nah, dude, that's, that's different. <laughs> they put Arnold in there and there was all these guys. It's not Escape from New York either. I don't know what it is, what it would be. But it's, it would be... Snake Bliskin. Oh, uh, dude, i never seen that movie. Is it good? You've never seen it? Mm-mm. I haven't either. It wasn't my thing. I didn't want to escape New York or LA. Nah, neither one. Yeah, dude. All right, Joni, you're all up. Right, so, uh... Yeah, silence your phone. Yeah, it was a alarm going off that I don't know why it was set for 7.15 p.m. <laughs> why the hell would I have a 7.15 alarm set? I don't know, you're a cool guy. Dude, just in case I want to remember how cool I am at 7.15, <laughs> I just did. Is that your pussy alarm? <laughs> like, my, the, well, I got I shit at 7.15, I better go get some vagina. No, nah, dude. This is making me sure I'm cool. It's uh, my cool reminder. I, I, You know, I got to remember how cool I am every moment of every day. Okay. Not really. I'm not cool at all, guys. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a facade. He's not. No, no, I'm not. Definitely. So there was a woman. Her name was uh, Rachel Palma. Maddow. She was having issues, man. She yeah. uh, she was having insomnia. Mm. So which means she can't sleep very well. Mm-hmm. And when she could fall asleep, she was having nightmares. Damn. She was started. She started having hallucinations. Mm, she had been through some shit, Joe. She was. She was seeing things that weren't there, man. I've been there. She was. Eventually, it got to the point where she wasn't able to hold things. She was dropping stuff. She couldn't use her phone anymore. She couldn't like text her friends. She'd have to call people. They said that she started like showing up to work without a uniform on. Like call her mom and tell her mom that they wanted her bed back that they she bought like five years ago. All sorts of weird shit. Shit started getting crazy with her. Sleep deprivation to do that, fam. Yes. 
Well, she went and they were like, you know, we should probably scan you and see what's up. And they found something inside of her head. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Jonas. <laughs> I've seen these shows on um, real TV. Well, no, dude. They're like, you have a tumor. Oh. They're like, there's a tumor oh. on your brain. It is in the frontal lobe near your speech center. Yeah. And they thought it was cancerous. The Broca's area. What's the word? Oh, malignant? Is that cancerous? Uh, benign, benign is not. Benign is malignant. cancerous. I thought it was malignant. Mm. And they were like, you really don't have many options. We are going to have to take your head apart <laughs> and get in there. Bitch, you ain't taking my head apart. Well, they had to cut her head open. No, nah, you're not cutting me open either. What if all that stuff was happening to you? Man, they got fucking lasers or something that can... <laughs> I don't think where it was, that was an option. They had to take Man, the whole top off. You gotta give me some lasers, Sam. So they get in, and they're like, what the hell is this? It looked like a quail egg. Jonas, stop. Come to find out. Jonas, I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> it was a tapeworm egg oh, sack. <laughs> that head. That head. Oh. Oh, you really gotta go? No, I'm not leaving. That was growing inside of her brain. I'll go under the table if I have to leave. Yeah. <laughs> they said that, um... Uh, but I mean, granted, she almost all of her symptoms have subsided. She's back to normal now. Uh, she has like a head that has like a. Dude, she had a bug growing in her brain. brain. Yeah, dude, and it hadn't hatched yet. Luckily, it was just growing. It was like big. Uh, but what right. they said is, and I was like, "How the hell does a tapeworm get into your brain?" Uh, and what they said was that s someone probably. <laughs> uh huh. Go ahead. Tell the rest. They said someone probably had a real tapeworm uh, and they didn't clean their hands properly uh, and then when you eat the worm it can abs be absorbed through your intestine into your bloodstream and get into your brain and they made a point to say in this article that uh, this is a very 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 rare occurrence and not every headache should be thought that you have a worm brain are you done yeah all right yeah so that's fucked up <laughs> let's never talk about that ever You're like, let's just pretend that that didn't happen yeah uh I, I'm, i've definitely heard these stories like i said on like shows on real tv and other things yeah where, like, we're oh. all like i got this problem in my ear and it's like a spider nest oh, and you're like what the hell is going all right <laughs> jonas is doing the rest I, of this show, i just so found well. out what tnt's ultimate Ooh, fear is i guess. like thinking about things growing in me man <laughs> i don't all right <laughs> Yeah, man, it's kind of creepy. I don't mind it when things grow on me. Oh, like you, you've grown on oh. me. <laughs> That's Look such at a nice him. thing for you to say. <laughs> I touched you again. Too. I know, dude. You're all up on me. <laughs> Damn, Jonas. That's freaking nuts. Yeah, dude. I am, um, dude. God. Like, okay. Ah. Question. Ah. This is a legit question. Ah. Worm aside. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Have you ever thought about if you had something like that going on? Jonas, no. No, I, not the worm aside. If you had, like, they found something in your head, and they and it was and they thought it was a tumor, and they're like, it could be cancerous or whatever. Jesus. Or, you know, whatever. Like, Are you asking me if I've ever had a cancer no, scare? Listen, no, listen. The fuck kind of Listen, clock? dude, no, listen. <laughs> Like, if they, if they had, like, a tumor and they're like, listen, man, either, like, you're going to keep dropping stuff and hallucinating or, like, we're going to have to, like, no. go inside your head. Would you just let it let life work its course? Or no, would you... dude, I'd probably let them cut my head apart if that's what it took. Yeah, man. But I ain't got insurance. So I don't know who's paying for that shit. Me? No kid. Me no and shit. everyone watching this podcast. Oh, no, yeah, do a GoFundMe of yeah, all of no, our 200 dude, subs. No, when you default, on your, <laughs> when you default on your medical bills and they... Our insurance rates go up. <laughs> no, no, oh, yeah, I guess that would probably help. Can you? Can I get on your insurance? No, dude. Our rates go up because there's unpaid medical bills. Uh oh. So they got to take that money back somewhere. <laughs> Funny. I know, dude. Right? Joke's on you guys. Yeah, all the Canadians watching are going, what's this? Uh, medical bills. <laughs> there are no Canadians watching. Ah, oh, dude, they're not. All right, Jonas. If they are, they're very fine people. Thank you for that, because that hurt my heart a little bit. Oh, I, I got don't feel good on the inside. I, uh, that's my favorite thing to do, is make you feel bad on the inside. <laughs> not really. So I'm going to hit you with a silly one. Oh, dude, I like it. You ready? I... <laughs> ready when it comes to silly all right uh i don't even know how to put this man it's there's 
Xbox body wash? What does that make you think? Oh, like they, they got a, uh, they realized gamers stink and they put out an, a body wash for gamers by gamers. Jonas, Jonas, look, you can't talk dude, about. Dude, I've been to PAX. You can't talk about the gamers, dude. Yeah, dude, not all of them stink. Some of them do. Dude, some of every group of exactly. people Exactly. There's ballet dancers out there where they're like, I ain't pirouetting nowhere near that dude. Oh, dude. I'm just. Imagine if, like, that dude had to lift you up and, like, he didn't wash his pits. Whoo. <laughs> Every time I get lifted up by a man, they gotta have clean pits. <laughs> Just saying. My toes are fucked up from being a ballet dancer. Is this one of your concerns in life? Dude, every, <laughs> every moment of my life is all about this. You, you like wake up in a cold sweat. Oh, God, it's pits. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Welcome to my reality. Thank <laughs> you. doing Swan Lake and all, guys. <laughs> all right, yeah. So Xbox decided to team up with uh, X Body Spray. Okay. And they have a new scent for all you gamers out Which there. Which is, I mean, Axe Body Spray kind of has its own, like, crew. Yeah. So and they kind of they, they, there's some crossover there. Yeah, dude. Essentially, that's the cover up instead of the wash. So the name of this product is a Lynx Xbox, and guess what it smells like, Jonas? Uh, you guessed it. The Mountain Dew scented. <laughs> Mountain Dew, dude. <laughs> Does it smell like nacho cheese Doritos when you wash it off? I was thinking, like, with all, with that kind of crossover, you can get, like, nacho cheese hand soap or, like, yeah, dude. nacho cheese Dorito hand soap Shampoo? or something. Yeah, dude. You can smell, like, extreme Doritos and extreme Mountain Dew. Funyuns hair shampoo. Oh, dude. You know, <laughs> uh, I heard nacho cheese powder makes you exfoliate very well. Really? Grind it up, just rub it on, dude. No grease in that. A little fun tip for you guys. Yeah, clog them pores with nacho cheese. You grow yourself your own set of Doritos. <laughs> so it does not smell like Mountain Dew. I was joking. Oh, dude, like. I thought it did. That would have <laughs> been for real. That would have been legit. <laughs> the real scent, and I'm going to name off some of the scents here so you get a full idea. Like burning Xbox motor? No. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be like burning it smells, electronics. Smells like red ring. Uh, <laughs> it is uh, pulsing green citrus, oh. kefir lime, winter lemon, mint and sage with patchouli oh, and clear God, wood. Dude, yeah. that's all one flavor. It's all. It's got like middle tones and undertones. Oh, and dude, shit. patchouli will overpower anything. Well, yeah. You could have a dead raccoon. You put like a spray of patchouli in there. That's yeah. all you're gonna smell is patchouli. You don't like patchouli? It's. I didn't say that. I said I'm just it, asking if you like. I it. I don't care for it. No. Okay. It has its own distinct smell. <laughs> all right. That's it. <laughs> what do you guys think? I don't know, dude. I use fucking I use fucking Irish Spring. So, dude. So, uh, remember those old commercials where the bar of soap would be like shooting water out of it? Those are the old Irish Springs commercials. No, oh, I geez. remember the Irish guy walking through Ireland. And he like cut a bar of soap off like he was. Oh, he's like, oh, here we are. Like, man. oh, just shave the soap into some <laughs> deliciousness. I'm like, oh, this soap, man. Yeah, dude, it smells like the fresh Irish breeze. That doesn't make me want to wash. Nah, dude, it, it makes I me want a potato. Or was that Lever 2000 that had the put out the soap and it was like shooting water? I don't know, man. I don't know, dude. I don't worry. I'm not old as you. In the comments below. You go, you go way back. I got another little quickie. Yeah, let's do a quickie, dude. Drop another, another quickie one? on me, yeah. All right, uh, Oakland, dude. Yeah, Bub Rub, little sister from Oakland. Who is? Whistle tips, go woo woo. Is I this an update I've, on Bub Rub, and little I think, sis? I think he's had a stroke, <laughs> dude. You know, about, you know about Bub Rub, little sis. Whistle tips, go woo woo. A, a Jonas. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> think I'm seriously, dude. Do you need me to take you to the hospital? I'm okay. <laughs> all right. I'm all right, dude. All right. All right. What no, about dude. Oakland? All right. Oakland, California, or it's like, I, as I like to call it, West Florida. <laughs> <laughs> they decriminalize mushrooms, Jonas. Number two, dude. Denver. Number two. Denver and Oakland. Yeah, and it's not a real surprise. We're talking about California, where they've already had marijuana legal for, what is it, almost 10 years no, now? No, 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 dude. How they long had medical it? for a long time. It's just been legal for, like, this year. Has it only yeah. been a year? Okay. Something right. like that. Maybe a year but and a half. Either way, they're progressive when it comes oh, to yeah, legalization. Yeah. With anything. So this makes it so that having mushrooms, growing it, using it, distributing it, uh, make it the lowest priority for police in that state. Yeah, we that. that. That's yeah, city. well, go figure. The two natural things, they finally are like, you know what? Maybe we should go after these man-made uh, drugs. Yeah. Like yeah. methamphetamines and the coking. You've done you've done mushrooms before. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't even know what they are. This guy doesn't... We wear a mask. Our anonymity is, is secure. I don't know what any drug looks like. 
or what they do to you. What is mushrooms? Well, look, a very long time ago, I've done mushrooms with you. Very long, <laughs> very long time ago, me and Jonas did do mushrooms. I don't know what you're talking about. I have about. not touched them for ages. But I still just remember like the nervousness of of having them and just being like, oh, you know, you know what the guys you gotta Any hide them. Drug Keep is them not legal to <laughs> possess. <laughs> if you live in Oakland, it is. Yeah, dude. So no, no city funds can be going to enforce any laws, and no further persecutions will happen if you have mushrooms in Oakland. You know how they make mushrooms, Jonas? Uh, cow shit. Any place where there's moisture and cow shit, you're bound to find these mushrooms. What, what's the uh, the chemical component that makes it? Uh, Cyclobin? Yeah. This, That's in this. it. But I think you can grow mushrooms like hyper uh what's, what do they call when you grow it with water uh hyper, hyper something hydroponics hydro i think you can hydroponically grow them too but i think yeah. you can still have to get spores from the mushrooms yeah. to do it and it's, it's not an easy process apparently it's like just the cow shit in in the nature is like ideal for it but it's not an easy job to do they they sell and have sold all the components to make it because it's the drug the, the cyclobin itself which is illegal or was illegal at least there that is illegal so you can still sell all the things to make mushrooms so they sold it in like little kits like here make some mushrooms at home yeah yeah it's just what it forms when it when it grows hey, yeah yeah you ain't saying eat them yeah man and look, to piggyback off of that there's been more and more studies that are, are saying that they're moving towards using uh cyclobin to treat ptsd and depression like not like not enough to make you trip and have hallucinations but mm -hmm. just like a mic like a microdose enough to like alter your chemistry and they said the difference between that that and something i can't remember the other thing i read about the article they're they're referring to but it um it makes you like want to like build relationships again and so a lot of times people with ptsd and depression like they they become like reclusive and they don't want to ever see anybody and they said that this will like why open you, up why did you look at me when you said i'm looking at you the entire time Asshole. Why? Why you got? Why you gotta feel so? <laughs> Joseph, call me out. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I said. You're like maybe you should get some. I said maybe you away. should trip balls in the, <laughs> in the crazy zone compound. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right. What you got, Joseph? There's a man. Well, he goes by Rob for privacy reasons. Thomas. <laughs> yes, it's it's the lead singer of Matchbox Twenty. Go figure. <laughs> um, he had PMDS. That is a WWE superstar. No. Um, it, CM Punk. It is a persistent Mullerian duct syndrome. I'm so, could, wait, one more time for the viewers persistent at home. Persistent uh -huh. Mullerian, Mullerian duct, duct. syndrome. Mullerian ducts. Uh, yeah, he, ha he had this condition. It said uh, most, oh, most of the time they find out people have this condition at birth. This man so did not find out that he had it until he was in his adulthood um basically what happened is this man uh started urinating blood at a oh, young Jesus. at a young age jonas what the fuck you can't just hit me like with the urine blood. blood he had blood in his urine uh and uh <laughs> and they uh you know they they thought it eventually was going to lead to bladder cancer oh uh, okay yeah that's cool so they're like Not you know cool. he i think he's he was in i think he's in like his 20s or 30s mm -hmm. this is the uk united kingdom thank guy. god uh, come to find out, he had an MRI. It wasn't bladder cancer after all. What was it? He has a womb. Wait, he was. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. <laughs> P my, my man's was born with a ute. <laughs> PMDS, persistent Mullerian duck syndrome, is a male who is born with male external genitalia and internal female reproductive organs. Yo, hold on, son. You're saying my man's was born with a uterus? He had a he had a male a female reproductive system inside of him. My, my, wait, what? but he had a fully functional penis on the outside. Wait, you no said, vagina though. Wait, wait. So Brubra had ovaries. I believe that he had ovaries too. Yeah, maybe not ovaries, but he had a womb for sure. I don't want. Does he get a hysterectomy? <laughs> Actually, <laughs> go go figure. Uh, when they found out, they have that he was going to have a hysterectomy, and they said that he could potentially go through menopause because they were removing his womb. Oh shit, fam! And they right. said uh, 
Wow. He, uh, they said there was potential. I guess he could have got pregnant, but he didn't have like a vag, a vagina. So like, I don't know where the semen would have got in there. But dude, you know what that immediately, immediately made me think of? Imagine if he, his semen got his womb pregnant and he had his own baby. Ugh. How fucking weird would that be? Wow. <laughs> Y'all would love to have my own baby. Like it's you impregnating yourself Yo. and giving yourself your own baby. A little dynamite? Fueled by dynamite? It'd be like you, it'd be like you squared. Yo, I'm the only one I trust anyway. <laughs> to give yourself. <laughs> I am. So yes, it was a man with a womb. He found out in his like adulthood that he had a womb, and he now has to have a hysterectomy to have it removed. Damn, Jonas, dude, isn't that crazy? <laughs> they making dudes with uteruses and shit right now. <laughs> yeah, dude. Can you believe they this? made him a long time ago? We just didn't find out. Yo, you just, from, he had a uterus his whole life. Yeah, he didn't never knew. And he was just what having like he said he said every like when he would have sex he would have like pain afterwards uh, and he figured it was just something that was like wrong with him you know you hear about people who have pain after they have sex no Whether, I mean obviously it's not regular but like people who like they have pain when they yeah have sex. the woman after I'm done uh, whoa that, that snoot man she pounding can't. that snoot is that a technical <laughs> term <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> You get mad at me when I say whore. Dude, and you're pounding snoots over here. Snoot. Snoot is a nose, dude. You're, oh, that's how you get That's down. what nasal, it's like. Nasal job, dude. Some girls like that shit. I guess dude. so, dude. No, they never better. hit women during sex. It's not cool. They, they really don't appreciate they, that. Don't hit women ever. What? Not just during sex, bro. No, nah, if a girl comes at me with a knife, Jonas, I'm sorry. Well, it's it's open season on bitch. Wow. I'm just saying, man. Okay. You said we're not editing the podcast, Jonas. I, I, no, I don't care what you say. All right, then I'm going to be on I'm, I'm, I'm not saying it about your words. I'm Oops. saying it about we, your cooth. We stopped swearing for the videos, not the podcast. I agree. Okay. We ain't making nothing off this podcast anyway. Yeah. Get money and fuck girls. All right. <laughs> All right. That's a. No, that was a good story, Jonas. Dude, right? Where do you find the dude with you story? Dude. I find a lot of stuff on Reddit. It just pops up in my feed, and I'm like, Jones, man with a womb. You gave your secret away, though. Dude, I mean, you got to find it. It ain't just floating around out there in the open. All right, You man. asked me. Yeah, I did, but I didn't expect you to tell. The internet? The, <laughs> the internet. I find them on the internet. Yeah, that's a good one. All, All right, right. Jonas. I'm this ready. A little bit more of a... You know, I, I I like to bring the serious, not the man you shit, but that, I mean, that was amazing. Man you was weird, dude. I was like, what the hell? I'm bringing some stuff to make you think. All right. Because you thought we lived in a society, but we don't. Okay. We don't. Whoa. All right. So, <laughs> Pfizer. Oh, P dude. Fizzer. Pfizer is a... They're a pharmaceutical company. Yes. So already you know. Oh, dude, they're already <laughs> killing people. That there's some man sitting in a throne with an eye patch and a black cat just like. <laughs> yeah, the spike collar, too. Yeah, and the he's. Cat and the man. <laughs> Both. They're linked together with a gold chain. Exactly. Yeah, dude. He exactly. has little mini cats running along the chain. And he'll get you, Gadget. Yeah. All right. Uh, Pfizer. They discovered a mid. Um, or yeah, they had a, they have a med used to treat arthritis. Oh, another thing to mask the symptoms and not cure. Um, I mean, it was one of their breakthrough meds and it helped a lot of people. Okay, cool, cool. Isn't, Is you, it for you, rheumatoid? They're, they're not evil for this. Oh, okay. <laughs> We're getting into the evil. Okay. <laughs> right, let, I was ready to go, let dude. It, let it simmer a little bit. Woo! We're going to get to the evil. The Big evil's Big Pharma's coming. not my friend. <laughs> so they have a medication to treat arthritis, but they made a discovery. They made. They found out that this powerful anti-inflammation drug called Enbrel also reduced the risk of Alzheimer's in sixty-four percent of the people by sixty-four percent in the people who used it. Okay. So they have an idea of what causes Alzheimer's, and they found out this drug decreased some of those risks. Okay, that isn't that kind of like how Viagra came about? It was supposed to be something else, and they realized that like it made them like made people like erect forever. Yeah, They're but, like, well, guess it's the erection pill now. <laughs> a lot of a lot of drugs come out like that, and a lot of times there's that off the package uh, thing that people use drugs for. So, um, you know, it was it was a discovery. Jonas. I guess so. Like right the channel. Through. Well, guess what, Jonas? 
They raised the price a <laughs> billion dollars. Is that what they did? No. It turns out that it would have cost the company eighty million dollars in research to see if the data was legit. Okay. So they didn't tell anybody about these other effects of this How drug. So that was just like a side effect. May cure your Alzheimer's. May may may, keep <laughs> may you kill from... you. May make you want to go to bed early. May cure your Alzheimer's. <laughs> it wasn't a cure, but it just it would pre preventative. Okay. So yeah, they decided not to tell anybody. Um. So when somebody else stumbled upon the research, they were like, "Well, why didn't you guys tell anybody about this research?" They said that it was not cost effective. Eighty million dollars to a big pharmaceutical company is chump change. Yeah, it dude. Really well, they could have like researched it, made it better, and made a billion dollars off that drug. Well, the drug was in the end stages of its patent, which means that it was getting ready to go generic. Oh, so they would have lost money because it. Uh... So, and if the drug goes generic, they can't make nearly as much money off of selling right. the drug. Right, right, right. Yeah, absolutely. So that still doesn't really excuse them from giving some of the no. information. Now. P.S. By generic, it's the exact um, same. <laughs> So the real point here is that even after they made this advancement and it could have been used just in the perpetuation of health in a general sense. Right. They already made all their money off this drug they were going to make. Yeah. Because it was about to go generic. They didn't even go so far as to tell, hey, look, this drug can also do this because it wasn't really beneficial for them. Right. Yeah, dude, that's probably why there's cure. For, there's probably a cure for cancer out there. Nobody yeah. knows about because it's, they're just like, eh. This is the thing, Jonas. Like they're like, uh, how many diseases have been cured that big pharma just isn't selling to us or just doesn't make? Well, they available? don't want people to be cured, man. They, if, if their drugs cured you, they would never make any money. It suppresses symptoms till you die, so they can make drain all the money out of you they can until you're dead. Yeah. Yeah, dude, that's why that's why they talk shit on herbal cures and stuff. They're like, oh, poppycock, that doesn't work. It's not good. Mm. That's not natural. No, Ooh. no, you need our pill. Jonah's getting into that Dr. CB stuff right dude, now. Dude, I'm not even saying go natural. All I'm saying is hey. if they don't even tell people about research that someone else could follow up on because they wouldn't, it wouldn't benefit them. Meanwhile, it would benefit humanity. They're liars. <laughs> All the way around. Anything about them. It's just, it's more, what really makes me angry is the fact that they were going to withhold this information until somebody else stumbled over it. And it's the fact of like, so like, there's no good Samaritan in you at all. It's no. like, maybe I should share this information, but then, you know, obviously other companies will make more money off of the drug. They're yes, going to continue dude. selling the drug. I just, it's, it just it's the same reason that like, like for politics and politicians, man, it's like, they're not out there to make a change. They're out there to get in your wallet, man. Right. Exactly. Who's going to pay them the most to push their stuff the way it needs to go? Or who's going to... There was probably some big fund person who didn't want that shit to go down. By the way, Pfizer, I'm looking for a job. <laughs> Pfizer! <laughs> so if you want to hire me... Listen, we'll do a podcast about do. Pfizer's. No, we're you not. know what I saw last night that was really funny, dude? What's that? I was, uh, I was watching the uh, NBA Finals game, and mm -hmm. afterwards, uh, Jimmy Kimmel came on. Mm. So I, I wasn't even paying attention, but it was on. And uh, they did an experiment. They went to Toronto. You know how everybody front runs like when a team's in the finals and shit? Yeah, so, they went to, so they went to Toronto, found a bunch of people on the street wearing Toronto Raptors gear, and they're like, Hey, we're doing a thing for ABC. Why don't you, like, we're going to toss you a ball. Why don't you catch the ball and go, watch my Raptors on ABC or some shit like that. And so they do that for, like, I don't know, a group of, like, five or six different people. And then they go, okay, listen, we were we thought we were going to be able to get to Oakland in time to do the, the Warriors for the same thing. They're like, would you be willing to put on a Warriors jersey and a Warriors hat real quick and do the same thing for the Warriors? And every single person did it. They, the first thing, the guy was like, no, nah, man, I ain't doing that. The Raptors are my team. And then, then they show him with all the Golden State shit on, like, and they're like, what do you think about loyalty? And he's like, loyalty's all you got, man. You got to be loyal to who you're loyal to. <laughs> it was so funny, dude. It was great. Front running bitches. Anyways. <laughs> yeah, everybody wants to see Golden State lose. Dude. It's like the Patriots of the NBA, except for uh, Patriots don't lose a lot. They do sometimes. <laughs> okay, man. So, you know, Texas is pretty awesome, right? Like, we live here. Yeah, I'm going to toot Texas's horn a little bit. Yeah, do it. I'm going to ride the jock of Texas all the way to the end of the show. I'm going to ride Texas's jock. Yep. All right. So, Getting a little do you, what do you know about... <laughs> 
Gross domestic product. Gross domestic product. Domestic product. You know, it's basically... I'm going to explain what it is first, because it's relative to that. Like cleaner? It's basically the... Uh, it's the econ the size of the economy. Oh, okay. It is the value of all finished goods and services produced within the borders of a specific place within a specific time frame. So all it's used by economists and business people and all this stuff to determine worth, value, investments, things like that. Uh, penny pension money grubbers. No more like top 1% shit. But. Yeah, all right. um, so anyways, Texas has a pretty sizable economy. Yeah, I'm aware. Uh, Pretty self-sufficient state. Honestly. Yes. And they're proud of it. Oh, uh, I'm proud of it. Too. <laughs> I've been here more than half a decade. I guess that almost makes me official. You've been here for 25 years? Six years, man. Gee, you're a Texan, fam. <laughs> yeah, dude. Go you. Whew. Not me. You'll be there. Yeah. <laughs> Probably right. <laughs> I know, dude. It's not a bad place. Uh, I mean, it sucks. Don't ever come here. Uh, anyways... What it was is uh, Texas actually has a bigger economy than the entire country of Russia. <laughs> Russia has five times as many people as Texas. <laughs> Russia's, Russia's GDP is $1.3 trillion. Texas's is $1.7 trillion. <laughs> and uh, it says the GDP per person in, in uh, like, if you broke it down by person, it's $7,000 per person in Russia. It's $59,000 per person Ooh, in Texas. Yet, yet, yet. So they said, think about that when all the rumors are coming around about how much much a role russia played in our elections and whatnot they're all like oh. texas has more fucking sway than that's crazy russia does. yeah so and, how are they such an issue dude i don't know like, that's why texas wants to be its own entity man they're all like look we got more we got more uh, uh no, more I'm, gall than russia i'm tired of texas <laughs> playing that game yeah man. dude we're guess cool. what the government owns you because they make three four five six ten times as much as you so guess what yeah dude They'll kick you out of yeah, here. Yeah, dude. Just remember the album, okay? Nah, dude. I'm trying. I'm tired of Texas trying to get away from trying to succeed from the union. They're not doing it. They're, they're always talking about it. Well, you know. That is the most unpatriotic thing for a country that's like big on America. That's the most unpatriotic shit. They're I've bigger ever heard on Texas, life. dude. Whatever, man. You're American. I'm American. No, Texans are Texans, then they're American. Oh, is that what happens? That's what they say. Oh, shit. I'll talk to them, Jonas. <laughs> I do. I, I'm out here talking to Texans. I'm out here every talking day. to Texans. And I used to play that Ohio shit with them, and they're like, well, you can go right back to Ohio, motherfucker. <laughs> like, come the hell down, man. You can't say one. I'll, I'll tell you one thing, mm. though. In Ohio, what? you can't buy no Ohio shaped tortilla chips. You can't buy. Jonas, because nobody wants them. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> But who wants a Texas-shaped tortilla chip? Dude, nobody's proud enough of Those Ohio. Those things right? ain't popping off the shelves. Nobody's like, I gotta get my Texas. Dude, shaped they have Texas food. edition Ford trucks. I got dude. Texas plates. I got Texas Texas-shaped dip trays. I'm a dude, and I, I look. Be proud of your state, dude. Yes, but I'm proud of Ohio. I'm I'm tired of them. Look, I'm not even gonna get into it. Texas, you're a beautiful state, and I love living here. But damn it, sit the fuck down. <laughs> Be humble. Hold up, bitch. As Kendrick, Hold up, little as bitch. <laughs> Lamar says, I did uh, wash it off with some Ohio pride. I found an old sticker. Young free. Shout out Youngstown, Ohio. I like that sticker. Yeah, man. it says uh, Youngstown, Ohio. Got, got to live somewhere. I lived there many years. A few. I don't remember how many. Five. Mm -hmm. More than that, maybe. It's a lovely sticker story. Thank you. Yeah, dude. I found <laughs> it in a box <laughs> for a long time. That's it, it's dude. Riveting entertainment right here. You got to watch the podcast on the video to yeah, find it, you dude. You got to know where a sticker came from. There will be a test at the end of the episode, so I hope you It's over. Attention. You got anything else? Yeah, now there's a test. Where did Jonas find his sticker? Where did I find my sticker? If you were paying attention, you'd know. Yeah. They zoned out. They turned us off 40 <laughs> minutes ago. Five minutes in, we're done. All right, Jonas. <laughs> I guess we're done, man. Good that is job. all the time that we have for today's episode. <clears throat> Please make sure to subscribe to our channel, Crazy Town Media on YouTube, or if you are watching this on YouTube or on Spotify or iTunes, the audio only version. Are you not wearing pants? Uh, no, dude, never. Always free balling. All right. Uh, Crazy Town Media, Instagram, 
Oh, twitch.tv forward slash crazy now media live. You may forget, get that hand away from my pants. Slice <laughs> pants. But for Jonas and TNT Dynamite, we and Justice are out.